I thank all the visitors for being here tonight. At this time, I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Manning. He's going to read our prayer request and lead us in prayer. Uh, tonight, uh, let's remember uh, Linda Graham, uh, Bonnie's uh, grandson's mother, Barry Smith's father, Miss Diana's shoulders, Doug Coffey, that's the husband of uh, one of our bus monitors, uh, Lori Coffey. Uh, let's remember the family of Faye Crawford, uh, mother in law, uh, Jared Huff's father, Lisa Hungry. Uh, Beth Overstreet and the family, uh, her mother passed away a couple of weeks ago. And Jason Carter and their family, was, uh, his mother passed away a few weeks ago. Is there any more additions to this? I've got a friend of mine whose uh, father passed away today, so I just remember her. her family that we've been through. Okay. Any others? All uh, right, let's go to the Lord and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for the opportunity, Lord Heavenly Father, to. Uh, to live another day, Lord Heavenly Father. Bless this board tonight, Lord Heavenly Father, to make decisions, Lord Heavenly Father, to better our school system. We want to pray for each and every one of these uh, prayer requests that went up, Lord Heavenly Father. You know the needs of each and every one of these, Lord Heavenly Father. Be with us all, Lord, and, and we'll give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 The United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hope you've all had time to look at your board packet. Except Marty, he's the only one that hadn't had a chance because he uh, misplaced his. <laughs> Uh, the uh, first thing on the agenda is consent items. Do we need to pull any of them? If not, I'm going to need a motion on it. So moved. Second? Second. Second. Uh, any discussions? If none, do a roll call. Uh, Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. Apple? Yes. Mr. McTaylor? Yes. Mr. Taylor? Yes. Mr. Manning? Yes. Mr. Glover? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Sir? Yes. Uh, superintendent actions. Uh, any questions on those? If not, we'll go to new business. Uh, first thing in new business is the school calendar for 23-24. Uh, do I have a motion on that? Motion to approve. Second. 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 Any discussion on it? No. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Next thing is bid approval for diesel fuel. Do I have a motion? So I have a motion. Joe. Any discussion on it? Yes, Joe. How long was it $75 gallon last year? What do you say? How long was it $75 gallon last year? I'm just curious. <coughs> well, if we top the tank off, completely topped off, it's about a week's uh, run. And I want to have some discussion on that too. We uh, we had got winds about three weeks ago that that because of the barges in the Mississippi is what we were told or where it's coming from that uh, it's going to be hard to get. So we did do an emergency purchase. We cleared it through Jamie, made sure we stayed under the bed. We were I mean as far as the numbers, uh, we we what we're doing right now, Mister, we're top the tank off for an emergency and we read us like us have it for bid price. Uh, so uh, to answer your question, Joe, I think roughly it'll last a week what we've got capacity for. Wait, did you say a week? I thought it was a month. Uh, she told me month. that uh, <coughs> I, I may be talking about a different tank than she's talking about. No, I'm talking about the same thing. Oh, I'm sorry. So I mean, yeah, 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 that's a month. Yeah, but I thought you meant the tank itself. Yeah. Yeah. The tank. We try to keep the tank right now for an emergency. Like yeah, yeah, right now, we're trying to yeah. you know, fill up at the tank. So I misunderstood what you're saying. What you're asking though is the same yeah, I can get you an answer, but I think it's about a month. It takes a month to burn the same five months. Yeah, right. I can get you for sure tomorrow. I can ask her. To, to That's think. Yeah. And 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 we were lucky to get it from. Uh, I called Mr. Luttrell, the director at, at Wilson County, and. Uh, they were getting to a company called TriStar. She talked to Rita, and Rita told her if we could get it to go in top off, uh, we don't know where this thing's going. So uh, it could get hard to get down the road. So if we burn 7,500 gallons, I'm 
Yeah, yeah, I, I, well, let me get you. Let me get you the exact numbers. I can. I can text you more. Hello. Yeah, it, it may be a we, we go several hundred miles a day. You know. I just want to people realize we burn that much. Well, when you're getting more than five miles a gallon. Mm. So, so um, <coughs> when this, do you know what day this is to be delivered? I don't, Marty. It would be up on her call, I think, when she calls that it, you know, just depending on when she calls, it'd just be good for that time period. Because Rita even said she didn't know as far as, at, and that was two weeks ago. I think it's changed some for the better since then. So I think part of it depends on which area it comes from. If it's coming from the the, the, the coast, which which side of the Mississippi basically it's coming off of, which the company we were getting it out of, my understand, was coming across. It was getting hard. A lot of barges had landlocked and couldn't get, a, couldn't get anything across it. More discussion on it. I have a motion to second. I'll but I'll get you some numbers, Joe. Uh, well, no, you need to know what's a good question. I'll, I'll get it out to you. Let's do a roll call. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. Apple? Yes. Mr. McCaleb? Yes. Mr. Taylor? Yes. Mr. Manning? Yes. Mr. Love? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Myself? Yes. Discussion. First thing on the agenda is vaping. I guess we need to turn that over to uh, Well, I think Mr. Glover. Glover, you want to address that? I'll, I'll address this. Uh, over the last few weeks, I've had, to, I've had, or I've asked for this to be put on, but over the last few weeks, I've had the uh, several of the SROs and the uh, the youth service officer continue to tell me how much issues we have with vaping. Where I sit in, in, in the court systems, uh, I, I see all these vaping charges coming through the court systems. Well, I asked the YSO officer, how much have we had in issues have we had in the last year's time? Well, he got me some numbers, and we've had nearly 80 incidents of children with vapes inside our schools in the last year. Uh, that's becoming a way too big of a problem. I think we need to, to come up with a stiffer punishment or stiffer issues on, on this, and I think we need to look at our policy about possibly uh, uh, working on this, getting something done. I, uh, some issues I have, and I think Randy and I discussed it. The thing about vaping, not only is it vape, the vape itself dangerous, it's very hard to control what's actually in it, the consistency of what's in the product. Personally, I'd like to see us address the alcohol, tobacco, and vape and make it harsher, but that's, and that's where Jamie can tell us what we can and can't do as far as TSBA, or can we add to it, or just a recommendation? Or? Sure, you can. You can come up with. But I'd like to see all three right. myself, you know. And I think, I think without going back and looking, I think you'd see the smoking was very, would run very parallel to that, to the vaping. It's kind of took over because it's more concealable. It's easier to get. It's easier to hide. The problem with the vaping right now is we don't know what's in those vapes. No clue. And they do have test kits. I would like to possibly try to get a hold of some of those test kits and maybe give some of our SRO officers or the principals or something. If we find these vapes, we need to test them to see what's in them because some of them have THC. Because I don't uh, think they Right either. now, that we have liquid fentanyl out on the streets that are in these vapes. And I don't and think, think the people the sell them even know what that's what's in them. possibly almost overdosed by touching one of these vapes. So, uh, you know, we need to be proactive with this. Mm -hmm. Mr. Lewis. I just have a question. Mr. Glover, did I understand you right? And I apologize. I've got a little bit of head no, cold. You said you was watching these cases go through the court system. Is yes. that what you said? Are the courts enforcing it or are the they? The courts are absolutely enforcing it. Uh, the general sessions judge, Mr. Brandon Butler, he's he's all for uh, he's he's all for doing more. Well, let me and, let uh, me ask you this: Are they convicting into doing more? I mean, I'm all about it too, but are they convicting them when they go to court? Absolutely, courses? they're convicting them. They're giving them community service. Uh, they're giving them. Uh, uh, they're having to uh, take classes. Uh, there's a choosing to change class that they're having to take. Uh, there's another class that they're called the second time. There's an even harsher class uh, that, that's more intensive, uh, plus more community service. Uh, but uh, I think we need to step up and do more also. Can you, somebody have the, since it's on the agenda and you address it, does somebody have the current punishment for this in front of them? I think it's categorized as a level three at this point which had um, the in-school suspension, out-of-school suspension. Um, it is 
next to the highest level. Uh, social adjustment classes they can lead to transfer. Is that immediate suspension? Sure. Well, it's in the discretion. Right? Yes. I know some of the counties besides us, I know what they're doing is, is I know Wilson County possibly laid up theirs. Uh, I think the first time they, there's a three day suspension uh, and, a, and some sort of online program that the school requires them to do. Uh, and then I think the second time they're called, I think it's a five day suspension. Uh, but I think we need to do something a little harsher than that. I mean, we don't, we're going to be bringing, they're bringing drugs. We, it's already been caught in our school system. THC vapes has come through and we've caught. So uh, if we don't watch out, we're going to end up having an overdose in our schools of our, not only our kids, but possibly even teachers. Now, let me ask a question. You said there was first and second offenders. Is it up how? Have we had like third and fourth? Absolutely. Yes. We've had We're it. saying most of them are repeat offenders. That's most of them are repeat offenders. Well, I, my suggestion would be you would let the director come up with a get with or come up with a plan uh, to uh, modify. Obviously, what we're doing is not working. If we've got, <coughs> if they keep coming back and doing the same offense over and over, uh, obviously we're not getting their attention. So, we're not, we're not. so would, would you like for me to see what other systems, adjoining systems, are doing, and then come back with some? I would, uh, but I would also like, you know, like I said, I want to set the precedence. I want to be the person, I want to be the school system that, that helps okay. shut, shut this down if we can. So next board meeting, you'll bring us back. Uh, I'll your bring you back. And I'll talk to Mr. Glover, too, and maybe talk with uh, Mr. Yes. Bell. And, and I'd also, you know, we've looked into those, uh, those uh, systems inside the bathrooms to put in. I'd like to look at those again. Uh, because uh, you know, those detectors yeah. that detect those bases. If well, we can get some of those, uh, I know there's some places that actually offer free trials. If we're uh, if we're going to go <coughs> to the extent of getting this study, why don't we get one that includes vape, uh, tobacco, and alcohol, vape. and let's get it all in one lick, so to speak. You can do the, uh, the tobacco and the vape. I'm not sure the alcohol well, I mean, let's see what let's see what's going on. Oh yeah, yeah. I would like to, I would like to see us. They're all three illegal. I'd like to yes. see all yeah. of them. So let's just get it all at one lead and, and do what they do. You said, Mr. Winford, that really it's at our discretion of what we want to do. Yes. In other uh, words, we can if we want to expel them for ninety days. I mean, we can do that. You have a tobacco-free schools policy. You can certainly. Have punishment provision to that. Okay. Right. Uh, I mean, okay. I mean, sure. Everything has to be reasonable. Oh. Everything has to be within reason. Right. But right. Uh, right. You can right. certainly okay. have a spe specified punishment for uh, yeah. for these incidents. And yes. Yeah. Yeah. You could graduate to repeat offenders. Yes. Could we? I, I so we could set a point. policy then that says that. Uh, I mean, just asking. Or the principal has no choice. If you get caught with it, the first time you suspend it three days period, that's it. There's school board policy that says that the principal's license is to follow this. Your policy says that they have to follow. I've got a, I've got a question for, for Jamie. Mm -hmm. We have, uh, uh, what about our IEP students? I know they have a different set of rules. They, they can only be suspended for so long. Yes, sir. But as long as you're basically on the 10 days, it doesn't hit your manifestation. There's a lot goes into that, but you know, it well, and no matter what days. policy you follow, you still have to conduct your manifestation hearings, and I, I don't. It's going to be that no matter what you set your policy. Yeah. You're always so this, this policy that we set would it be uh, it would be effective after school hours at sports events if it was a ball it, game? It would be at it would be at anything, Mike. Any school ground. Any yeah, school, school ground. Yeah. If it's if they come on school property, it's in effect. Because it'd be easier to hide it, bringing it to a ball game uh, outside. And, <laughs> but but to, to clear it up, the special ed part wouldn't have anything to do with the that's that's what we do our kids at this justice many times because the court system don't look at it whether it's fed or not. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and I do believe that we have the court system behind us on this and they will Okay. They'll do their part as long as we do in our part. So. Any other questions, recommendations or 
If not, we'll turn I, it over I might, to you. I might sit down with Judge Butler and you too. <coughs> okay, maybe just kind of work together. Work. I, I know we'd be maybe willing. Maybe sit down and have a meeting with you or something. Okay, let's go on to the school audit. Got any questions on that? I'd like to say overall it was really good when it normal. Um, uh, we're, we've made a lot of headway in the last few years and other than most of it's what we've had new people in training, you know, but, but overall it's very good. No more. Any questions for Ms. Norman? Is I? Okay. Let's go on to uh, our annual policy review. October, I hope you've all looked at that and had a chance to get any questions on that. If not, we're fixing to go, I think we need to go into executive session. <coughs> on that. Yeah. Okay. So.